Hi, I'm Neville Hobson. Today is Monday, March the 18th, 2024. I'm here to talk about a pretty nifty webcam that arrived a couple of days ago that I've been playing around with over the last few days. So this isn't a formal review of any type whatsoever. It's just my first looks at this, the Eye Contact Camera Pro webcam. Uh, that's the camera that swings down underneath to, uh, to uh, sit on your screen on a stalk at eye level. Uh, it's pretty good. These are the stereo noise cancelling microphones. So it's got built-in microphones and I'm using those microphones to record this. But my top five things uh, so far. Uh, the first one, the camera sits terrifically on top of my Dell UHD 4K monitor that's curved. Uh, the monitor has a thick curved back that with uh, devices of this type that I've used uh, before has major, major problems in them sitting without falling off or slipping off or can't clip or can't grip or whatever it might be uh, on a curved monitor like this. This though has none of those issues at all. A very well thought through, weighted, not a clip exactly. Uh, if, you know, if you're familiar with Logitech um, webcams that kind of folds out and it sits and the weight keeps it on there. And this is similar to that. It does it very nicely too. It's, it's perfect, it doesn't move at all. The second one, uh, it has a USB-C connector that comes with the USB-A adapter, if you haven't got USB-C ports. But if you do, uh, it's perfect. And so it's ready for use with almost any USB port with that adapter. Third, it's plug and play on Windows 11. Uh, connect the camera, the OS recognizes it and it just works. You can check all the settings you need for, a, for your camera in the Windows 11 settings. That's quite good if you want to adjust things like white, balance, uh, um, what do you call it, resolution, uh, etc. Uh, that's where you do it. Uh, if you have a Mac, uh, Eye Contact recommends you download their app uh, from their website. Fourth, it is 4K video. I tested it on webcamtests.com, which showed the resolution at 3840 by 2160. I'm using the Windows 11 camera app to record this, which shows video quality is 2448p at 30 frames per second. So that's pretty good. Uh, the fifth top thing for me is excellent design and build quality. I've mentioned that a bit so far. It really is a very nice webcam. It looks smart, sits discreetly at the top of the screen. Uh, and with this size of monitor, the retractable camera is positioned when you fold it out at just the right eye level. It's there, that's what I'm looking at. Uh, so for me, that works great. Uh, it's not good if you've got a laptop. This is not for those. They have another model for laptops. So they say, in fact, this is perfect for any monitor bigger than a 24-inch diagonal screen. Now, I have two small niggles that I want to mention. The stalk uh, on the retractable camera is slightly bent out of vertical on mine. So when it's out and in position, the lens is looking slightly to one side. Not a huge amount, but it means that um, I have to shift my position to get it to where I want it, rather than moving around the, the camera on top of the monitor. Uh, I could do that too. The point is, I've got to do that a bit so that I feel I've got it just about in the right place. Uh, the stalk is hard plastic, so you can't really bend it, and I'm not going to try doing that. It's not affecting my use, so it's not a showstopper by any means, but I certainly wasn't expecting to encounter this kind of issue. The second niggle uh, is the Windows 11 camera settings that don't have an option for zooming in or out. There are third-party apps to do this. Uh, iContact's website suggests one called Camo. That's got a free version, but it's only 720p resolution. Much better is a tool like XSplit vCam that I use that lets you zoom in and out and save the setting without any limitation. So overall, it's great. And those two small nickels, by the way, aren't really anything to do with uh, the second one. Certainly, it's not the camera, it's Windows. Uh, but the stalk, that's, that's a manufacturing issue. The camera itself is absolutely super. Uh, hopefully this video, if you look close at the quality on when you watch it, you'll see it is high resolution, so it's pretty impressive. So I've got one observation in addition to everything i said so far. I'm using the webcam's built-in stereo microphone, as I mentioned, to record this. Um, usually I use a, a Shure MV7 podcast microphone that's pretty close to my mouth for the best audio quality. So again, if the audio is a little on the low side, you have to turn it up, that's the reason. And one more thing, it would be very helpful if the camera had some kind of indicator uh, to show that it's in use, an LED light or something like that. 
it's got nothing visual at all, so you don't know if it's on or not. There is no privacy um, uh, uh, device or something. I'm not too bothered about that, to be frank. I've seen others commenting on that on the Kickstarter website where the, uh, where the, uh, the deal was. Um, one other option, of course, is to uh, get a, a USB extension cable with an on-off switch so you turn it on or off. I'm considering that, but at the moment I'm just, it's just plugged in and sits there. So something for the developer to consider perhaps uh, on that, uh, an LED light or something in particular. Overall, I would say this is a super webcam and if you're looking for something that is at eye level that doesn't do what many others do, either a suction cap that sticks on the screen uh, or another one that I used as a startup uh, a year or so back that's got a flexible cable that's actually quite thick and you've got to tweak it and, and fiddle with it every time you want to use it once you've taken it away from your field of view. This is a set uh, feature. It folds out and folds in again, folds back up, folds out, and it sits there, and it's at eye level. So, of course, that all depends on many other things, like the height of your seat, height of your desk, maybe on your monitor, so you, you know, it's not a universal thing. But for me, the way I've configured my, uh, my desk set up here is I took it out of the box, stuck it on top of the screen, plugged it in, and it was just right, just there. So I would say this is definitely something that's worth considering. Um, in any case, uh, there'll be more to come in not, not necessarily reviews, more, more thoughts and comments once I've been using uh, the Eye Contact Camera Pro for a while. If you want to see more of my occasional videos, uh, well, just hit the subscribe button on YouTube. And in the meantime, any comments you have, leave them here. And thanks for watching.